Good morning, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to Stocks with Show Play of the Day. This is Pete, and what a great golden gap. Nice way to end out a great week. Really, really nice week it turned out to be in here, and love it when you get a gap like this on the Friday. Just a, There's just no better way to go into a weekend, actually, than this right here. <laughs> um, so let's look at the P. Nice gap in here today. Shorted P right out of the gate. Nice drop. I went to the target, knew that I would, got past the target. It actually could go to the next target in here, which is 19. If you want to trade later in the morning or later in the afternoon or later in the day, you could do this. I definitely don't like to trade in a Friday afternoon. There's just no chance of me doing that. Uh, my day was done so quickly here this morning. You know, that's the end of the story for me. Shorted P, drop, rally back, drop, out of the whole P. So could this go to 19? Yes. Could I have made it a little more if it goes to 19? Yes. Is it worth holding all day for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and waiting for another setup? And then you got to contend with the market. The answer is no. The way to make money day trading is to trade quick and fast and hard into the time of the day that provides the most momentum, the best setups, the best risk reward. And when is that? In the morning. It's aggressive in the morning. And the only way you can do that is if you understand gaps, if you understand actually how to take the gap. I was discussing this today in the trading room using a great example of this in here in the P. Because if you do not know what's happening on the daily chart in P, you might try to buy P in here into this previous area of support. You might try to buy the P in the one minute chart. And when you have something that does this green bar here, does the red bar, then flips and does a buy set up here and goes over this area of resistance, you are thinking that this is a possibly a buy. And the market was holding and, you know, was holding at this time of the day. So you might be trying to buy P into a gap fell into prior support with the market at a reversal time. And you might think that's a great thing to do for a P to go up and rally and fill the gap. But that's the wrong way to look at this because P was a short and is a short. It was a great short today. So I find a lot of day traders actually trade with like in a vacuum, like actually where they have a wall on either side of their eyes and they can only see straight in one direction. That is not the way that I trade. One of the reasons I'm a good trader is because I look at the overall things. I look at everything. I look at a million things. I look at 26 things and more. And I don't trade it in a vacuum. I'm looking at something very, very specifically, everything, and then some. And that's what helps me make the right decisions of the right direction, play the gap, and the things to do, and gets the numbers right, and targets and resistance, and everything else the stock has to do. And I predicted that P would do this today. So I even saw a gap. I didn't predict that it would gap. I saw the gap. I read the gap. I rated the gap. But then I predicted it would break the way it went. It did in here and go down and break $20. And that was a great call. That was a great call. So nice gap in P. Beautiful, beautiful short move. Nice trade and great risk reward. Stopping this was as small as you're going to get in something like P. Basically sized it for $0.20. Cents and uh, amazing move with that kind of stop. And held the conviction, did everything right with this today. But P could very well set up again today. I won't be reshorting it, but you could. So nice trading here at P. If you're interested in the Golden Gap class, it's this weekend, October 25th and 26th. If you want to make money trading and learn how to day trade, you can take my class and I teach in the Golden Gap course how to take the entries, how to take the setups, how to look at things right, and how to trade correctly as a day trader. Too many day traders are trading in vacuums or missing the whole shebang. And that's why the results reflect that. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. My results are not like that. My results are very consistent. In fact, today in the trading, we reviewed everything. And, you know, it's just one of these things where you have to have a strategic reason for why you're doing something. You get up every day and you look for it. You have to know what you're looking for. You have to know where you're supposed to be taking these stocks. And you have to know what things to stay away from, too, and what ones to just go hog wild. And I absolutely have the ability to be able to discern that from the rating system. And, uh, and seeing how these things trade and act. So if anyone would like more information, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Dylan is signed up. It's 5 o'clock today. If you want to sign up, I still have a couple spots left. Email me. Classes this weekend. Great time to learn how to trade gaps and trade in earnings season. Have a great day, everybody, and have a great weekend.